Well, we begin today with a trip to a small community in southeast Nebraska that is enjoying some new life on Main Street. At one point, Peru, Nebraska was without a grocery store, but new owners have now opened the doors to a store on Main Street downtown once again. In this segment, we learn that the store is not only important to local residents, but to Peru State College students as well. Hi everybody, we are in downtown Peru and we are learning about a new grocery store that's mm -hmm. here. And joining me now is the owner, and this is Lindy Schmidt, and we want to know more about this store. For a while, there was not a grocery store here, so maybe give us a little bit of the history. Sure. Um, we do actually own another store in Louisville, so we had purchased a store, uh, remodeled it, um, gave it a little facelift, and purchased that store and opened it in 2019. So in December of 2019, we purchased that, um, opened it up for business. It, it was an existing store that had previously closed, it had really, really good support and success in that community. And so we were always looking um, for another opportunity, for another small community, for fresh food and for community and for growth. So we purchased this store, um, which was previously a grocery store that had closed. And we purchased this in September of 2021 and just re just opened this one September of this year. This has got to mean a lot to the people who live in the area. I mean, to have a grocery store in a small community is really important. Yes, it is. Um, we certainly agree. We live in a small community. We live in Louisville. And when that store had closed, it was um, devastating for our community. It was devastating for us personally because we really felt that a store is kind of the heart of Main Street. A grocery store really, really, really is something that every small community needs. You know, if you know Peru, you know that it's a smaller community, but it has a college. Does that help, I mean, in business? Yes, absolutely. I would say when, um, as we were looking for opportunities for stores and communities that could utilize and, and support um, a store, it was always important that it's a smaller community that doesn't necessarily have a grocery store right down the street. Um, but also it was important to have another aspect or another draw. So with Louisville, we're very, very close to a couple state parks. And Peru, um, although the seasons are a little bit switched, where we're very, very busy in the summer in Louisville, here it's going to be in the spring, fall, uh, winter months when we have students here. It was really important for us to have an extra layer of potential customers that could come in and support a store. But we also thought it was really important for the students to be able to have something. What are the reactions you're getting? Everybody's been very grateful, um, very supportive, surprised, I think, um, that someone would come in and potentially take the time to do that. They love this community. A lot of people are from here, have stayed here, have family and deep roots here. So it means a lot to them that someone that doesn't even necessarily live here or have roots from Peru would actually put their heart and soul into to giving something to the community that, um, that they need. All right, Lindy, well, thank you very much. This is really awesome. The market on Main Street in Peru, another grocery store in a small community doing great things. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.